it was the worst thing that's ever happened to you. I don't I don't know what's happened to you since then, and I'm telling you, it's not that bad. <laughs> well, let me tell you about the second time it ever happened. <laughs> oh, god damn it. That I can remember this happening. <laughs> um, and uh, I'm not embarrassed. I was embarrassed by it. I was embarrassed about that first one for a long time. Because, I mean, you're like... You're in your your twenties. You're like you're not supposed to shit yourself in your twenties. Are you fucking kidding me? But yeah. it's like when you actually have like IBS and like um, medical things wrong with you, and you eat the wrong thing, and it's just like you cannot help it. Oh, preaching to the choir. But yeah, exactly. It's right. just like mm, sometimes you can't make it. Like especially if you're on the high. And my wife, she wasn't my wife at the time, but she kind of said to me, she was like, "Why didn't you just pull over and shit on the side of the road?" And I'm like, "That's even worse." Like I don't want to. See, it's s- funny you say that because like I like I have a coworker who's like like us in that like you know very serious stomach shit blah 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 but he tells me that he's like the other day he told me this like this was like last week he's like i shit on the side of that because he lives in he lives in mission okay so he like he, he commutes in every day he's like i shit on the side of the highway at least like twice three times a month a month just like he'll just pull over and just be like oh i gotta go and he'll just open his truck door and go aside and i'm like man he's like dude you get to a point in your life where you're like you're you're just sort of sick of like you know thinking you're gonna shit your pants you're like i ain't doing it so i'm just gonna pull over and go on the side of the highway that's fair <laughs> hell yeah wild that's but that's i mean that's fair i i mean he's probably right there but it's just like ah, i don't want my tiny dick just like fucking <laughs> like not you, you try to flapping you try to explain it to people who don't have to deal with with like the stomach issues and stuff and it's like 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 anytime you go into somebody's house or like a restaurant oh or a bar or anything God. like that like your my at least my first train of thought in any of these scenarios is like what are the bathrooms like yeah is it a single occupancy bathroom or is someone gonna have to listen to me shit because i ate some fucking yep. cheese you know or whatever it okay. is okay to that point um i went to i went to today Ooh, go on i went to the home of an actor from a tv show that i like okay yes. i'm not revealing that yet but Do-do-do. on the way to their house mm. I realized that I got out of bed, went, got coffee and like a, like a Tim sandwich came back, ate the sandwich. Then he called me and was like, Hey, let's do brunch. And I was like, all right, jumped up, fucking threw a t-shirt on and like left. And as I'm driving to his house, I realized, and I said in my head, I'm like, I didn't take a shit before I left. Oh, dude. And I was like, yeah. holy, f-. it like dawned on me. I was like, I do not want to have to take a shit in this guy's house. No, dude. Because he's you, never going to talk to me never again. Want... <laughs> and that's, <laughs> that is, that's, it. I know exactly. That's a real fear. It is a real have fear. You, I, I went on this date once with this girl. Uh, she was super cool. She worked at this recording studio. She was like this British girl, you know, super hot. And I was like, yeah. If I, and she British had, girls are hot. Yeah, I mean, some of them. Buddy. <laughs> you know, some of them aren't. Uh <laughs> G'day, mate. You want to go on a date? <laughs> is that that's Australian? But oh, fine. Com- yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm drunk. Um, remember? All oh, right, right. But I remember <laughs> we went out on the date, and it was a great date. But we went out for like, you know, I, there was this was a time in my life when I wasn't aware of of my diet contributing to my stomach shit. So I was just mm. eating what the fuck ever, and like, yeah. I'm, I'm sure I had like cheese and gluten and Oof. red meat and everything, all that. And it was a great date, and then we went back to. Uh, her place where she was having like kind of like a party and there was a bunch of people over and you know her friends were kind of hanging out and drinking and doing this thing and i was there and it was kind of okay and then i sort of i slept on the couch kind of on the couch type thing and and i woke up in the morning it was like you know 6 a.m and there's like people like sleeping on the floor so it was like there was like a party right and i'm like oh god i you know you know like that the, the morning after of beer drinking and the stuff like fucking worst and i went into this bathroom and f- fucking destroyed it like Deep. like audibly just just annihilated this yeah because it's quiet in that place and Everyone's it's quiet sleeping. you could hear a pin drop but it's also oh. not a big apartment so it's like not only was the sound prevalent but like you know the smell must have been so bad oh and my. you know what i did lincoln you left i left <laughs> i fucking pulled my little pants up and i washed my hands and i walked out the front fucking door i grabbed my shit and i just left because i was like i am never gonna see this girl i know full well her and all her friends heard what i just did to that bathroom (laughs) and they're gonna be smelling it as soon as i open the door did you ever hear from that girl nope i've I've never talked to her since and but like sometimes shit like that happens and you're like there's no coming back from that no you know i just i just got carnal i love that that's 
and I had to leave. Oh to my fucking god! Okay, so the second time. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I interrupted your second no, it's okay. story. I'm sorry. No, you didn't interrupt. No, I, 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 I like listening to your stories. <laughs> so the second time this happened, we went to a movie. Um, do you know where Seton is in Calgary? It's way down south. Seton. Seton. It's a newer. Uh, you probably moved southeast before. southwest. I don't know. It's down fucking. Like if you took okay, if you took um, Deerfoot mm. to like like from Northwest Calgary mm-hmm. to like the complete opposite end of Calgary, mm-hmm. that's where Seton is. Okay, it's like the other. Okay, so we went because they had they opened one of those like fucking um, VIP theaters. Oh yeah, those are sick. By the they're way, so there's, there's actually one right around here. Yeah, so they're, they're yeah exact yeah I've been to it. Yeah, um, they're like uh, you know you say you order your food at the the. Uh, t- at your chair or whatever, and and you're you're good to go. So I've noticed at Cineplex when I get popcorn with butter, <laughs> that I think the butter really, re- like the butter they use at Cineplex, really bothers my stomach. I fucking hope you're not going to tell me you shit your pants in a movie theater. I didn't. Okay. So <laughs> I didn't shit my pants. Is this the highest f bomb count in an episode? It might be. Yeah. I don't know. I'll, I'll do a count. I'll watch. I'll rewatch all the episodes and I'll let you know. <laughs> Fucking guy. Uh, <laughs> so uh, somebody else do that. I don't give a fuck. So uh, we, we, and my wife and my sister went to a movie and I went to a movie with another friend. Okay. So our movies kind of were staggered, but they ended roughly around the same time. And then we kind of, uh, my wife, my sister and I were leaving and my other friend kind of fucked off on his own. So, we're driving home and it's winter by the way okay it's the middle of winter so we're driving down um i think i took stony trail which would have been a longer way home which was not a good idea but the roads were clear so i'm looping around the city and and at that point we were living in evanston so northwest calgary and it just took so fucking it it was like from that theater to our house, it was like a 50 minute drive. Like it's like almost an hour. It's disgusting. Yeah. It's basically driving to Red Deer. It's fucking stupid. Anyway, <clears throat> I am white knuckling again. Mm, we've been here before. No, oh, we've been here before. Yeah. And, but this time I'm not alone. I have my wife <laughs> and my sister in the truck and I am white knuckling with them in the truck going, Oh my God, I'm, I'm going to fucking die. And they're going, Oh, just, they're like, they're like cheering me on going like, you can do this. <laughs> and like, it's going to be a, fine. That's a bizarre. It's that's a bizarre. The the fuck you right. got this. Oh, you're, you're not going to, you're, you're not going to shit your pants. pants. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to be fine. You're going to make it home. You're like gonna it's grow the fuck. old and have lots of babies. <laughs> you are going to be fine. So we, Oh my God, we're getting so close. We're rounding the bend. We're coming into the neighborhood. I pull into the neighborhood. We're on the other side of Evanston at this point. And I'm like, I'm trying, I'm, I'm trying not to speed. Cause I'm like, I don't want to get fucking pulled over. I don't want to hit a pedestrian. I don't want to like, I don't want to endanger the lives of other people just because I have to take a shit. And at a certain point, you're a better man than I, uh, <laughs> maybe, a, maybe a little bit at a certain point we're rounding and I'm about to turn the corner or I'm about to go straight towards our house and it gets so bad. I'm just like, I look at my wife. I'm like, you need to drive the truck the rest of the way home. I'm going to walk and shit myself. I like, I can't. I can't. Oh, word. I, yeah. You abandoned ship. I, I jumped ship. I had to because I was just like, fuck it. Like, I'm literally, and my wife's like, yeah. She's like, it's one of those moments where I'm panicking going, I'm about to shit myself. I do not want to shit myself yeah. in my truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do not want you all to ship, smell my shit. Like, please, I'm just going to, st- I'm like trying to stop the truck. She's going, no, 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 just keep going. Just keep going. And I'm going, no, you got to drive the fucking truck. And so I stopped the truck. Just like park on a corner. I'm like, oh, fuck, this is the worst. I'm like, <laughs> oh my God, this thing really is the worst. <laughs> this is the worst. I'm like, oh, my God. I'm like, I can still hold it, but I need to like fucking walk it home. And like, I'm doing kind of want to like, like the power walk. You're, I'm still, trying- mar- you're still married to this woman. Yeah. Uh, thankfully. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've been together 13 years as of next month. So I'm like in my head, I'm like, I'm going to power walk this home. It's really fucking cold. I'm not wearing a coat. I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm just going to do this. I stop the truck. I open the door. I take one step out. I slip on ice i immediately hit the fucking ground on my ass stomach (laughs) stomach evacuates as soon Uh, as i hit the ground uh, i am 
as I'm falling, I'm clamoring to try and grab onto something. I hit the ground so fucking oh, hard. I have, I cannot, I like physically can't hold on anymore because I shocked myself by slipping. Second of all, I like hit, yeah, I hit the ground so hard. My stomach literally just goes, Bleh! and I'm like, oh, <laughs> and you're fucking, your wife's like, all right, I'll see you at home. <laughs> she's in the passenger seat <laughs> losing her mind because she's just like, Holy, like she's worried that I hit my head, yeah. that I fucking broke my leg, tailbone, whatever. And I'm just like, I, I shit. And she, and my sister's in the back seat, just going, oh my god, what the, who the fuck am I related to? Uh. Like it was just the word. So I get up, I'm like, I'm just, I'm livid. I am livid at this point. <laughs> so, so I'm all covered in poop. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I am fucking angry. So I stand up and I just, I walk away. I just, I stand up and I just, I leave the door open, the truck running, them in the truck. I just walk away. I just start fucking like poopy pants walking like away. Ugh. She gets out, gets in the truck. She's like driving, but she's doing one of those, like she, drive, she rolled down the window. She's driving beside me and she's just like, okay, like get in the truck. And I'm like, fuck you. I'm fucking i'm gonna walk home i don't want shit in my truck and she's like just get in like we got a towel we'll put a towel in the seat and i'm like Murder! fuck i'm like freezing i think yours is worse than mine no way I think yours is worse i don't know man the like, hundred year old woman like, yeah but it, but like that woman's gonna haunt you it was between like me a hundred year old woman and god you know like that was it like you like the your, whole your, your wife saw it. saw it your sister saw it like that's not the first time my mm, wife's ever mm, seen me shit though yeah fair nobody was around for me to see to do it that could talk about it like in a couple months right like she's definitely dead maybe like <laughs> like maybe that she maybe told her husband if he was alive but i'm t- like yours is yours is that's pretty close to home man. it was ho- yeah. it, honestly like i'm sorry oh it's fine <laughs> 